Let's talk Civivi, shall we? You notice all the super expensive knives I put on my channel? I mean, upwards of almost 75, sometimes over a hundred dollar, you know? Meanwhile, all these other reviewers throwing around like four or five hundred dollar knives like, you know, like grains of rice in the wind. Not me. Ah, not me. Okay, so this is the Altus. But you know what? By God, I'm showing you knives you can actually carry. You can actually carry without having a nightmare of like, oh God, snail trail, ah, my life is over. Uh, and the house falls on you. Okay, so, no, this is the Altus. God, what did we do? Um, oh, by the way, we had a cogent, right? And the cogent was a flipper. I mean, this just reminds me of the cogent because the cogent I had on my channel was this green micarta, right? And it was this black hand rub uh, Damascus. And it was a button lock, okay? So this reminds me of that, but this is not a flipper. This is a flicker, okay? Okay, so the Civivi Elementum button lock also was not a flipper, okay? And I got that rolling around here somewhere. But what do you think? I mean, this is uh, this is cool. And, you know, the thing is about the, the cogent, and the Elementum in button lock, they were like a three and a half inch blade or closer to that. This is now a, you know, more of a gent carry. So this might be more your style if you really like the, and I get people like, you got anything with three inch or under blade. So this is three inch blade, okay? Overall seven. So this is a three and a seven, okay? So it's about 77 millimeters and about 18 centimeters. So cool button lock. I like button locks. I like button locks. I don't know about you, but I, I'm kind of digging them. You know, you had the swags, the sway back, you know, in a button lock. And, uh, and they also had it in a liner lock, right? But I mean, the button lock seemed to be way more popular. And then the Elementum and the Cogent, okay? But this one is the Altus. Now, pretty sensible overall shape, isn't it? I mean, maybe the blade, all, all the Damascus look on the blade kind of detracts almost from the simplicity of the design. It's making it look busy here. But without that, and you can get this in Nitro V, and you can get this in like Black G10. You can also get it in a wood handle with nitro v and you can also get it uh well in this micarta and i think there's a burgundy a color as well so this this is the more expensive one this runs about like 89 or 90 dollars where the others are 72 and you know on white mountain knives 72 dollars and then you could ltk gives you 10 percent discount right so if you're taking seven dollars off of the 72, you're at 65 and there's no tax. So 65 bucks. You can get this button lock knife for 65 bucks all in home. So that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, the price has been going up, guys. I mean, they have. This is an open design. Uh, you got a little lanyard pin here. We will take this apart, by the way. Okay. And look at it. It's, button locks are not that difficult. Uh, access locks drive me completely insane. But button locks, no, they don't. They don't. So I'm digging it. Deep carry pocket clip, flat screws. Can we go the other way? Yes, so right and left hand. Now, the button lock makes it um, really not impossible for lefties, okay? Because they just on that side, but they can still depress it like this and work the button lock, right? So, I mean, I, I'm not a left handy, but I can still do that. So, and you've got ambidextrous thumb studs. So, really, this is pretty ambidextrous as well, which, you know, some people are pretty disgusted by the fact that they're really forgetting about the left-handed crowd out there. Um, and, of course, 
I keep telling the left-handed people, you know, I mean, obviously you're not right with God or you'd been right-handed, so there's something wrong with that. <laughs> oh, my God. My son's left-handed, too. How did he get that way? And, you know, play, watch him play guitar right-handed. Oh, my God. And so that makes a lot of lefties ambidextrous. Thank God. See, that was the redeeming grace they got. And, yes, this is sharp out of the box, by the way. So, yeah. This is cool. It's centered. Um, obviously, it's on bearings. I mean, look at that. Okay. And what does it weigh? It weighs nothing. Nothing. Uh, 81 grams. Well, you know you got a lightweight knife then, don't you? When you're under 100 grams, you generally got... Per okay, under 3 ounces. 2.87 you all good on that one right there. And this mic card is pretty grippy, nice. A little washed out through here, but nothing that time and skin oils won't solve. Or, you know, some food-grade mineral oil. That'll do it, too. That'll darken it down. So, if you want. I mean, this doesn't bother me as much as some that are almost white, you know. I don't like the mic card that just gets too weathered looking. Uh, but, you know, it, you can deal with that. You can solve that problem. Um, but, yeah, check it out. Open, close, open, close. I mean, that, if, if this knife is not fidget friendly, then please tell me the definition of fidget friendly. I mean, uh, this baby's going all over the place. What does it say here? Ah, it's a DS1. Green. My card, a black hand rub Damascus, and of course inside, in case you live under a rock and you never had a, a Civivi before. You get a zipper pouch, you get stickers, and you get paperwork, and you get a microfiber cloth, and you know what? Uh, I, it's, I think we're getting spoiled because remember the old days, you know, like seven years ago or whatever you get a zt it comes in a push, collapsing box you don't get i mean it, and it comes in plastic that's it there's no zipper pouch no stickers no nothing right and you're paying 300 bucks for it and this you're paying you know somewhere between 50 and 75 bucks and you're getting all the all the goop and the fact that the pouch is in there kind of helps keep this box structural as well, and it protects the knife. So, I don't, I don't think you got much to lose here. But this is fairly new. This is, a, I guess, a 2022 model. So don't tell me I'm old and antique. I'm all cool now, baby. Oh, hold on. Let me get my caliper out. What do we got for overall? 13.1, huh? Is that for certain? Hold on. Yeah, I'll get, hold on. Yeah. It's at a negative zero. What is a negative zero? Okay, 0. 0.51 of an inch. 13.1, so it's it's a pretty good handful for a little gent carry. You'd think it'd be like a 0. 0.44 or something. And we're basically talking 3 millimeter at 0. 0.11. Okay, okay. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> You know what? The liner lock doesn't work worth the shit. Okay, let's get let's get the brain readjusted. See, see, spend too much time with frame locks and liner locks. This is what's going to happen to you. Your brain will not be able to readjust to an axis lock or a lock back or a button lock. But wow, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ergos are good. Get all four fingers on here. Yes, reverse grip, fine. Where are we on balance? Easy breezy. Pass through. It's easy to disengage. Stop it. Stop it. It's not a liner lock. Um, so, yes, this is, and you don't get your fingers in the way, by the way. Uh, it's centered. No blade play. No problems there. It's solid. It's good. And, and, as amazing as this may seem, number eights. Yes, that proves, that proves 
that there is a God right there. That proves it. You, you don't even have to go to church now. You, you know there is a God. Well, maybe better now. You know there is. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I mean, uh, that's good. That's good, see? People can learn, can think in abstract terms. There you go. Number six is on the pocket clip, though. But deep carry, little mamba jamba. And guess what? See? Where was it? They drove me crazy. They were doing this again. Okay, so hold on. This is the Civivi Knox, right? See? Three screws. So they got this one that passes through this standoff, right? And then they've got two screws for the pocket clip. But they got that third one back there. See what they're doing? Okay? That what, that's what drove me crazy. And they're still doing it on certain models. But they stopped doing it on some of their Sen Cut and Civivi knives. You know, after I bitched about it for a couple of months. I don't know if they were listening to me or they just thought it up. But So you got the standoff. Now you don't have three screws here. You don't have three screws because you backed it up. See? Not as deep carry, deeper carry, because you're backing the clip up and you're taking that last hole or that last screw there as part of the pocket clip and you're losing a screw. So you don't have to have three screws there. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much. So we, we all good and the ergos are fine on this. So I think we're good. See, look at this beautiful disassembly towel. Some of the fancy boys, they got like a nice rubber mat and stuff. You know what? I do have one of those. Um, I just can't see black screws on the top of a black, black rubber mat, though. So I'm using white. And this, see, that's not mustard stains. That's just, that's probably some of that KPL that's red or whatever. Yeah. Make it a mess. Okay, so we're not going to take it open this way. Yeah, can't do it that way. But we're going to do it this way. And let's ratchet it apart. And keep unscrewing and someday it'll come out. Okay, so body screw over here. And that's a number eight as well. We'll just kick that. And is that... Yeah, whatever. Let it hang. I don't care. Let's take the pocket clip. Well, I didn't have to uh, bear down on that much. That was kind of ready to go. Okay. So, you want to bet that this screw here is longer than the next one down, right? Because it probably goes through the standoff and the other one just goes into the liner. Bingo. Okay. So, and then there's our little body screw that wouldn't come out. You happy now? Oh, and there goes the spring. Thank God that didn't just fall off and go into the carpet. I'd be looking for that for the next three centuries. And there's the area for the, for the spring. You know, you got to get just the right length, the right compression. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're on the back side of this beauty. And here's our front side. And, 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 and. Let's pull this. Come on. Okay. Now here's our liner. All right. And do you think it's skeletonized? Yikes. And this is too. Big time, big time. Now, see, I think they put... A ridge they do on this now hold on let me kick this off okay so this button cannot push all the way out the front because they put a ridge on it where it won't come out this little ridge there so you're good okay all right and let me see what we got we got our little humpty hump here where I'm pointing on the micarta, and we got the little milled out joker area somewhere in here, wherever the hell it is. Come on, the notch, the notch is in here. Can we not see it on the camera? Oh, there it is. 
there's the notch right there. It's not easy to see, but there's the notch. So we got the notch that sits down on here. And obviously if the notch doesn't sit down correctly, it's above grade. And there it goes. Now it, it sits down. What have I got in here? Oh, this is for the lanyard. Thank God they didn't drop in the carpet either. So there's your little lanyard pin that you got to put back in here. It'll probably fall right back out. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's put it back together. Oh, here's our blade stop. So let's do that too. And sometimes these button locks can be a little bit tricky on... Come on. Get back in there. Okay. On how you put them back together. Hold on. Let me get this. Okay. I want to just put a little... Okay. Now. Um, okay. That's how we're going to go. Just like that. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. And we've got to get our clearance just right to be able to fit in there. Okay. Okay. So do we have this turned correctly to where we've got this Civivi thing lined up? i got to line up my Civivi. Uh, hold on. Get this dropped in that notch. There it is. Okay, now it's in that notch. Okay, so now we're all cleared for takeoff. Okay, now we do have spring. We got to put back in here. Ooh, that's that's this tall, doesn't it? Yikes. Okay. Well, I could have put it in after I did this, but oh well. Okay, now, now we got to capture the flag here. We got to get this spring down into here. And it's weird that there's not like a, like a metal area for that spring to fit in that it's just going to stick on that micarta. Isn't that a little odd? Huh, okay. And... What are you going to do? Okay, okay, okay. I guess. I guess that's going to be it. Okay. Compress the spring. That seems like a really tall spring for no more than than the whole thing. Uh, wow. Okay. Let me get this locked down a bit. That does seem like a really... Okay, well, shit. Okay. It works. I guess that's the bottom line, right? Somebody better engineer than I am, because that just seemed odd to me. And let's get this position correctly. Okay. Now, we got a pocket clip put back on. And drop these babies in here. Oh, number six. And that goes into the liner. Sometimes you got to push to get that engaged to that liner. This one goes in the standoff, so that's not a problem. Okay. So sometimes that's why I do the bottom one first because that's a shorter screw and it's got to engage in that metal liner. And so if you've already screwed this one in and tightened it up, you know, the bottom of that clip will kind of stand up, be a little tougher to push that and engage it. But uh, that's why I start bottom and go to the top. Now, how badly have I destroyed it? Apparently not too badly. All right, it looks like it's uh, operating fine and it's centered. 
Maybe I can just back it off just a little bit. I might have gave, got a little zealous. I think that's more like what it was when it came out. And I'm not getting any play or anything. And it's still centered, so we're good. So we're done. We're done. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, I do like this. I like a lot of the stuff that Savivi does. I think it's well thought out, uh, well designed. Uh, I think they do a good job of fit and finish. Just so much of what they do, I really like. We knives, Savivi, Sencut, the whole line. I, I like it, uh, you know, really. How do you rate that as far as Savivi knives in budget line competition? I think they're... I think they're number one. I think they're number one. Uh, there's a lot of other good budget knives. I'd say if you could only pick one, Civivi. Number two, I don't know. Then you're in a fight, right? You got a lot of stuff out there. You got some good makers that are making a lot of stuff. You got Real Steel that makes budget knives. You got Cancept, Kaiser. You've got Petrified Fish. You got, I mean, just there's just a lot of great budget makers. And uh, so, hey, it's nice to have choices, isn't it? See you later. I'm going to let you go. Love them knives here. Yes, we do. So you guys stay sharp.